right. Welcome back to your next episode of Full Spectrum Living with CBD. I am Meredith, your co-host, and I am here with your hosts, Jessica and Adrian. And today we're going to talk about how CBD can help you. So Adrian, you were telling me some really amazing stories about some of the clients that you've worked with and some of the things that you've seen. What's one of the most memorable cases that you can think of where CBD has really helped change someone's life? Yeah, absolutely. And it still brings a smile to my face because I can still picture this video. So we had a, a gentleman who suffered from COPD and he had taken our product for one or two weeks and his sister recorded a video of him running across a field. And as he's running, he was just so excited. You could hear the laughter of everybody that was there and around there. As he's running, he bites it. I mean, he just flips, <laughs> falls, jumps up and keeps running. And wow. then when he reaches the end of the fence, he turns around and he's cracking up. But everybody was so excited because he was at a point with his COPD where even walking, walking upstairs was so difficult for him. All that inflammation in his chest. And just from taking a CBD product, from taking our product for a couple of weeks consistently, saw a level of health that he hadn't seen in years. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. That's it incredible. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome seeing that video, Adrian showed me that video when she received it. And, and you really just brought tears to your eyes that you, yeah. you just saw the joy that he had from his newly regained abilities. You know, it was just, it really transformed his daily experiences, I think. And so that's probably what you're seeing, right? You're not saying that, you know, CBD is treating his COPD. You're saying it's helping to increase his quality of life and reduce that inflammation that he has mm -hmm. and allow him to do something that he previously wasn't able to do. Yeah, it's not a cure. It's again, it's focused on the, on the symptoms and, the, and the, the things that you're seeing from these conditions that you have. You know, if it's going to reduce inflammation in a COPD, it can do the same thing for arthritic joints, right? So I personally take it for a wide variety of reasons. Getting old, like, sucks. But so, <laughs> yeah, right. uh, one of the things is early onset arthritis and bone spurs in my neck. So depending upon the day, I, it, I can have, you know, a worse case of, of arthritis than I do on, the, on other days, just that inflammation in the joints. But taking it consistently really helps me. I find that if I go somewhere and I forget my CBD for a few days or um, I forget to take it, then I start feeling that stiffness coming back in my joints. And, mm -hmm. and it's pretty, pretty uh, painful. You, know, when you want to get back to taking it pretty soon. Right. Yeah. I think uh, one of like the best ways that's been described to me uh, was in, in store in Lexington, uh, a physician, a retired physician whose son was also a physician. Um, they take our product and they came in the store and they were both, um, you know, the, the son I think was 50 plus. Um, so they both had some aging related chronic pain and arthritis and uh, how they described it was just it felt that their joints were better lubricated and when they walk when they got out of bed in the morning they just had a much easier time getting up out of bed when they took right. you don't make what, what people call quote unquote the old people noises right sitting up or getting up like sometimes when you get up out of a chair you're like oh and you're thinking no 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 I shouldn't be making this noise now right <laughs> yeah so it helps with that helps with that Got it. So inflammation is a big one, right? And we hear about that all the time and, and uh, you know, so many different places. So great to know that that's one area. So what else, what else are you seeing? Is there anything in relationship to like mood or sleep um, that were you helping people with that? I, I think um, when you just say mood and ask for um, any kind of testimony to that, uh, hands down, most powerful testimony I've ever experienced was a woman calling us to let us know um, that she had um, been really suffering from clinical depression and anxiety for years. Um, it had reached levels that she did not wish to continue living, and she had scheduled a medically induced suicide overseas. And wow. two weeks after taking our product, she called to let us know she had canceled it. Yeah. Wow. That one, that one still brings tears to my eyes. It really does. Uh, yeah, that was one of the ones where we stopped our entire day. At, oh, my gosh. Sorry. Right. We stopped our entire day and really put the attention that that needed, right? We really wanted to celebrate that in her and what – what she had experienced. And, and sadly, I mean, she's not the only one out there, but um, that was probably the most amazing one. 
I mean, wow. just life after life changed from the use of CBD for anxiety and depression. I think I, I've said this recently a lot because I'm feeling this more strongly, but uh, this is my personal opinion. I, I feel hands down anxiety has to be the, the single most um, likely condition to respond to CBD. I mean, I think they're all really likely, but of course there's a percentage of people that don't respond to any one treatment for anything, but, or not treatment, uh, anyone, uh, yeah, that's the word. solution, <laughs> option, uh, right. certain thing. Option, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Option. Um, but with anxiety, I mean, it's just, it's really, really rare to find someone where it just doesn't work for them. I mean, there, those people exist, but hands down, in my opinion, it just seems like the, the best, most likely result you'll get from CBD is reducing anxiety if that's an issue for you. And then depression. But not even that severe. You can even go back. So I don't know if you remember, Jess, um, in store where we had this married couple come in. And I think she was going through the change of life or she had other things that were going on. And so her mood was, as one would expect, probably a little irritable on some days. And they came in and they were jokingly but very seriously saying, you saved our marriage. Mm -hmm. He was essentially saying, I couldn't handle this anymore. Uh, she was crazy it was really a, a break, breaking us up wow. and since she started taking the product they were like no yeah this is definitely definitely helping i mean and that kind of account has come from a lot of people i mean i think that's not the only couple who has said you say right. marriage because of stressors and the way they were yeah. treating each other from um you know what they were going through but um you know one thing that pops out in my head about that as well um is another story uh, uh, a whole family who discovered cbd they unfortunately had lost i think their grandmother um and they were gathering at her funeral um they're one of the cousins in this group of adults um had just recently discovered our vape products and they said it totally changed his attitude from being very like type a upfront and and just going 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 easy to anger easy to stress out um it just changed him to be really mellow and and his cousins were asking what he had been doing and so they're there at the after you know after the wake and passing around a cbd vape <laughs> and, and then we had i mean we had three different groups of a cousin and their spouse come in our store within a week and buy products because it, it just it was something that um you know I, I think they found comfort in the fact that a cousin that they uh, cared for and respected had seen benefits with that. And in their time of extra additional stress to their family, mm -hmm. it was something that worked well for, for them. Well, and I think right there is a good opportunity for you just to insert like a quick little sound bite that, you know, there's a difference between the products that have the high THC and, and those that don't. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, you know, when you're saying CBD here and you're saying someone's vaping that, you know, we're not talking about, you know, um, somebody passing around a, a marijuana joint, at, right. you know, right. at, at this family event and everybody, right. you know, literally getting high the way that right. some people may think. Of course, right. I think that was like part of the humor that they found in that was that it was, you know, it's, it's a cannabis product, but it's hemp. Of course they weren't getting high. Um, but I think, you know, people still connect to it that way. And so for them, even though they knew they weren't doing that, it still felt like this, you know, kind of, uh, right. comical, you know, way to just kind of get a laugh and, and a bit of joy and an unfortunate and hard to lighten the mood a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. right. Well, and I think that's really cool because, you know, what you're saying there is that this is a way for them to have, received some reduction of anxiety and some, you know, relief from the way that, that they were feeling, but in a way that's not, um, you know, altering them the way that we think of like right. substances that, that people would tend to abuse or, you know, have an issue with. Exactly. It's not, I think it's not seeking to numb pains through, you know, alcohol or getting high or whatever, but to actually help your body to just process what you're going through and um, maybe just help you to reframe it in a way that you can function through more. I mean, my personal experience with CBD is that if I'm going through any strong periods of anxiety and I use CBD, um, then it, it helps me to feel that I'm not overwhelmed mm -hmm. by my um, anxiety, but that I, I still have those stressors there. I recognize them, but that mm -hmm. physical connection that tends to just completely emotionally overwhelm people, um, that, that is let go. 
and, yeah. and that makes what it possible to move through. I had a consumer say, and I thought it was really interesting, and it kind of put a picture to it, was it was essentially was it made it, it filed everything in her brain. So it gave her this sense of mental clarity to where she had all these thoughts swimming around in her head, but it essentially, it was like she said, I could feel and see everything being filed. Hmm. And so it was easier for her to concentrate, to go about her daily business um, because she knew exactly which file to go to at that point instead of everything just kind of swimming around, which I thought that was kind of an interesting way to look at it. Okay. So we talked about inflammation, sorry, Jessica. Um, And we've talked a little bit about mood, but you also are seeing that, um, you know, people are having, are having luck when it comes to even neurological um, Mm -hmm. conditions that they be maybe trying to manage. Can you, can you share a story with us about that? Well, I mean, my story, I guess my son's story. I mean, honestly, yeah. there, which we've talked about before, of course, is always going to yeah. be my, my personal favorite. But even going above and beyond that, so um, just thinking of me personally, and there's a lot of uh, migraine sisters that I have here in Lexington um, who all take the products for migraine relief. You know, I used to get them on a daily basis. Thankfully, I don't anymore. And again, I attribute that to my CBD intake. Mm-hmm. Um but there's a lot of women here who will take um, CBD for their migraine relief. And it's debilitating. You know, I used to lose vision. You get physically ill. The migraine hangover from the next day is still as excruciating. And I don't get any of that anymore. Um, if I feel a migraine coming on, um, I'll take an extra serving, two, sometimes three. It just depends upon what I'm feeling and how bad I think it's going to be. Um, but I keep my vision. I, you know, don't get nauseated. I feel the pressure still. I can still work with pressure. I can drive with pressure. So that's not an issue for me. And I don't get the migraine hangover. And that's what I'm seeing essentially with all the women um, that I speak to on a daily basis, because there's so many women are coming in store looking for migraine relief and they're, they're seeing the same thing. And it's just as impressive um, because now they can go about their daily, their daily lives. Awesome. Awesome. Just to like add my, uh, I've got so many favorite stories, but yeah, <laughs> one that I, <laughs> I think I mentioned this um, already on maybe the first episode, but um, our veteran friend who had the eight year migraine level 11, he ranked it um, and he saw complete pain relief. He still right. got the pressure um, and, you know, discomfort from that periodically but he got complete pain relief and and i think that's extremely common autism which uh, is what brought me to the company uh my sister um is another i think the category that would fall under would certainly be neurological condition um Mm -hmm. and although we don't have great understandings of autism um it seems that cbd's impact on it is it's really dramatic for a lot of people um so myself uh or my family and uh and my cousin and her son um to name two uh have been really um i mean just life changed <laughs> sure. uh, its effect for our autistic children and then um another story uh, a client of ours recorded her son um who was three or four i think um and had autism. Uh, he was, she recorded him. I, I'll never forget. Uh, <laughs> she recorded him for weeks and she would send us clips and she did this whole um, posting on all the benefits she was seeing and how quickly, and she really documented it on video really effectively. But one thing that stood out to me was her recording her, her son just a day or so before starting CBD at a play place in Lexington um, public, you know, playing area with other kids. And he's just facing away from the crowd, uh, just sitting there, not engaging with anyone. And that was his standard at the time. And Mm -hmm. then a week later, she videoed him again at the same play place, actually playing with children for the first time. I mean, that was, that was a really cool thing to see. And it was a week. It was one week later. Right. Well, and then there's also things like um, Parkinson's. Alzheimer's, right? So we've seen a lot of people see relief with their tremors to where they couldn't write their name or sign a check or do any of that. But after consistently taking it, they've been able to start writing again where you can actually read their penmanship. We actually had a gentleman drive, I believe it was eight hours. He came down, he'd been taking our product. He was up, um, yeah, I don't know where he was from, Michigan, um, Ohio. He was somewhere, but he said he drove eight hours straight down. He wanted to buy product 
um, he'd been taking it and ordering it, but he wanted to see the company. So he happened to walk at the door the same time my husband did. My husband gave him a tour of our extraction facility. And he, he was telling some really impressive stories about him and some of uh, his friends in the Parkinson's group, how they were seeing such relief with their CBD products. Yeah, um, I know someone that had a similar experience too with Parkinson's and CBD has provided a lot of relief for him too. So what about autoimmune? Because that's another area, like, you know, I think there's kind of these areas out there that are broad classifications of, mm-hmm. of conditions or symptoms that people are managing. And we hear, you know, lots about autoimmune from like Crohn's to mm-hmm. thyroid stuff to, you know, Epstein-Barr, all sorts of things like that. Yeah, I think um, its its effect on autoimmune conditions is, is going to be something that really saves a lot of lives, mm-hmm. uh, or at least improves quality of life in mass. But um, so to understand why it's effective for CBD, it's good to understand that what CBD is doing in the body is to help regulate your responses to stimulus uh, and your body's communication within itself for homeostasis, so for balancing. And generally, auto immune conditions would be categorized as an over response or under response within the body in your immune system. Um, and many of them being over responses, um, CBD is highly effective at just calming down the body when it's over responding. And, uh, for a lot of conditions like fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis and Crohn's, uh, those are conditions where that's what the body is doing. It's attacking itself. It's causing a lot of side effects and, and, um, pain for that person. And CBD just calms things down and you get, a huge reduction in flare-ups, in intensity for most people. Um, the you know, the overall frequency of days that are more um, intense symptoms versus days that are not is is just um, it just makes it it makes a huge difference for a lot of people. I think uh, fibro would be one where there's not a lot of things that are really helping people with fibromyalgia right now. Um, there are not a ton of options. I have a lot of people in my family with fibro, and uh, it's just they're at a loss for options. And CBD is a really good one for many people now. So. Got it. Got it. Okay. And so I think when it comes to Crohn's and, and I hate to be, and I'm, I'm not going to give you a family story here because I feel like I have it or my family has it, but <laughs> it's unfortunate, but um, we do have a personal story. So my husband does suffer from Crohn's and sees great relief with it. But even more so than that, we had a customer kind of come in uh, one day. She was a woman. She um, actually came through us through another business, a business relationship and came in just to thank us um, for completely changing. She was at the point where she couldn't leave her house. She, because of the fact that she didn't know when she was gonna have a flare up. And when you have Crohn's, it literally is one of those things where from one minute to the next, you can just completely ruin your clothes, your shoes and everything because you just cannot control your bowels. And it's extremely painful with all the ulcers and um, inflammation that you have in the gut. And so she was, so thankful she went back to work she was working normally on a on a regular basis again it's not a cure so she still had to manage her stress she still had to watch her diet Mm -hmm. um so she wasn't eating taco bell every day but nobody should be eating taco bell every day (laughs) exactly nobody should be eating taco bell every day but um so you still have to kind of watch those things but it still like brought her back a quality of life that she just wasn't experiencing anymore Mm -hmm. and for that she was so grateful right everybody's experience and in the way that they see improvements in their life is going to vary and it's not going to be the end all be all to everybody but it can definitely be a step or several steps in the right direction right uh pointing out like that her ability like the freedom it allowed her to be able to leave her house and go and do things more comfortably um than she had been that's a consistent trend for a lot of people i mean uh people who just they're their ability to walk is limited and and then improved or you know we've had people come in the store in a wheelchair or with canes or you know something like that Uh, a gentleman who were uh we still hear from really often um who 
he came in barely able to walk, um, his wife essentially almost having to, to just carry him. Um, and then he came in by himself a few weeks later to let us know of the updates because he was, he was able to drive by himself for the first time in a long time. Um, wow. So, you know, it just it gives a lot of people more uh, freedom to do the things that they want. Um, we had a woman who hadn't left her house from intense social anxiety for years, uh, who was able to finally leave her house for the first time. Um, and it's just, you know, it's, it's freeing for some. So mm -hmm. you brought up, um, Adrian, your husband's Crohn's and, mm -hmm. you know, that's a significant, you know, autoimmune condition, right? Mm -hmm. But, but it made me think about digestive health. You know, we keep hearing, I mean, if, if I'm just thinking of all of, you know, the things we're being told now that medical science is getting better and whether you love it or, or hate it, right. you know, there's kind of this common theme around gut health and digestive health and making sure to maintain that. Does CBD like play a role in those kinds of conditions or at all? We've definitely seen some some definite benefits from customers. And again, you know, again, it goes back to IBS. IBS is actually, there's a study that shows that IBS is directly linked to an endocannabinoid deficiency within your body. So taking a CBD supplement or a cannabinoid supplement is largely beneficial. The, um, when it comes, we had, a, we had an elderly lady who was taking it. I think she tried to take it for her um, or was trying to take it for her arthritis. And, but for several years, every day of her life, she struggled with diarrhea. She didn't know what was causing it. She couldn't fix it. Again, she only reached out to CBD because she thought, hmm, I want to try it for my arthritis. Her first day taking it, she called us and said, I didn't have diarrhea today. And we were like, oh, awesome. that's amazing. <laughs> but that's, this is the first time we've heard this. This is fantastic, right? But, and she kept calling back. And every time that she would order, she's like, this has been the best thing ever. And we're like, how's it working for your arthritis? She's like, it's working. It's great. But I don't have diarrhea. Like, so when you think about her quality of life in that standpoint, that right. became the most important thing to her. That's something that she wasn't even expecting to see results. But again, those digestive issues, fixing what's kind of wonky, my technical yeah. terms. In the gut, yeah, sure. I've heard similar stories, but in uh, the opposite way, but uh, with constipation, where people mm -hmm. have, yeah. you know, told me that it's really made a, a big improvement in that regard. I think with opioids uh, causing constipation for so many, that's extremely beneficial because not only are you, um, you know, likely to be able to hopefully directly impact the constipation that they cause, but also maybe reduce the amount of opioid consumption mm. by supplementing with cannabis um and and reduce that as well but uh, so yeah i've heard of constipation and um diarrhea but also mm -hmm. acid reflux i've had yes. a few people who've taken it for other things and found uh big improvements for reflux um and i think it all just goes back to balance it's calming digestive uh ir irritation and then helping to maybe um reduce the overproduction of some of your uh digestive mm -hmm. secretions Maybe, maybe that's what's happening. I mean, it seems likely, but, um, you know, we get a lot of different feedback from that. And, and then it's effect on appetite, I think should be kind of tied into this. Cause a lot of people want to know, will it make me munchy? No, <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, I think my mom is the only person who's claimed that she told me it made her hungry, but you know, well, I have had uh, one other person say that as well. They felt that they were more hungry, but more satisfied by their meal. So although they were eating a little bit more frequently, it was smaller right. meals. And I mean, hmm. suppose, according to some, yeah. that's more ideal anyways. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. And I think on that note, yeah, oh, okay. sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, on that note, we've also had people say that they've lost weight and although people say that they've gained weight. Mm -hmm. So those that needed to lose weight, they found they were maybe um, it stopped their unnecessary snacking, eating, whatever was bringing it on. Um, and on the flip side, those that gained weight were those that actually physically needed to gain weight. Maybe they weren't eating enough. Maybe they had an eating disorder. I remember one gentleman, I think they were followed by almost back to back. A gentleman came in saying that he lost 14 pounds. And then the next day, a lady came in saying she gained 10, but that was actually what her body needed. And it was, it was kind of amazing. It was one of those things where in store, we were like, wow, that's, it's interesting how it really works differently with every person. 
Well, and I think that gets back to what you've shared with us, you know, from the beginning that this is really about helping people to achieve balance in their body. And that means something different for, for everyone. So I love that we've been able to touch on these broad topics. And I imagine that we're going to have a chance to dive into some of these a little bit more deeply and really, because I think the next questions people have is like, you know, can you tell me more about how that works and specific mm-hmm. to these areas that I'm work that I'm concerned about for my health. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, more episodes of full spectrum living with CBD. But until then, if people wanted to find out more information, where would be um, the best place for them to go to do that? Yeah, absolutely. Visit our website, bluegrassimpoil.com. You can read reviews there, hear other people's stories from themselves. Um, You can also find our videos. There's video testimonials too. So check those out. Awesome. Awesome. I think to add to that, Facebook is a great way to read some of the reviews. There's, I think, 150 some five star reviews on there currently. And a lot of people find comfort in reading something that sounds like their own story uh, where someone's gotten benefit. Awesome. Awesome. Well, for this episode of Full Spectrum Living with CBD, I'm your co-host Meredith here with your hosts, Jessica and Adrian, and we will see you all the next time. Bye. Thank you.